challenge for all of you who are wearing red, white, and blue in honor of our veterans today. This is a very exciting day. We have some important speakers who are gonna share some information about why we have a Veterans Day. We also have representatives from our music department, chorus, we have eighth grade orchestra, and Mrs. McDonald representing the band because music is a very important part about celebrating as well. So I am looking for Hopkins to show how wonderful an audience you can be today we have two students from Principal's Cabinet, Ryan Brennan and Brianna Malou, who are representing our school and are gonna be our Master of Ceremonies today. So please give them your greatest attention. Thank you. Ryan? <laughs> He's a tall fifth grader, but not too Good afternoon, Hopkins School and invited guests. Welcome to our Veterans Day Ceremony. To begin, I ask you all to stand up and face the flag of the 8th grade orchestra performance the Star Spangled Banner. Follow their performance, let your man standing at the yard of the Pledge of Allegiance. Turning now to the pledge followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Today is the day we honor 
the noble and the brave, the men and women who dedicated their lives and the sacrifices that they've made. When America had an urgent need, they're the first to raise their hand. Without thinking twice about it, they were proud to take a stand. Some came back from war with battle scars, others in black draped coffins. Even though their flesh may have left, their spirits will never be forgotten. They unselfishly and knowingly put their lives on the line. So when you see a veteran, thank them, because without them, freedom would have died. At this time, we'd like to welcome Mr. Mike Whalen. Mr. Whalen is a Hopkinton resident that proudly served our country in the Vietnam War as a United States Marine. Thank you. As you heard, my name is Mike Whelan. I grew up, went to school, and still live here in Hopkinton. I was asked to speak here today because I'm a veteran, veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I enlisted in the Marines after high school and served until 1971. At that time, many of my friends and classmates also joined the armed forces as this was during the Vietnam War. This uniform that I'm wearing today shows that I belong to the Marine Corps League, which is a national organization of Marine Corps veterans. I also belong to the American Legion here in Hopkinton, and you might have seen us marching through town on Memorial Day. Tomorrow we celebrate another American holiday, Veterans Day. And as I look at all your faces out there, I'm sure every one of you is an American, but it's not because of what you look like. There are no physical characteristics that indicate that. In this country, we are a mix of all races and ethnic groups from all over the world. And this melting pot we live in is called the United States of America. It is the very best place on earth to live and the envy of all the other nations. Sometimes these emotions lead to conflicts and wars, and we need to defend ourselves and support our military. These soldiers, sailors, and airmen keep us safe. They are the reason for our freedoms. Yes, freedom is a thing, but you can't hold it in your hand or draw a picture of it. However, you sure know if you don't have it. Living here in Hopkinton is easy to take it for granted. So about a hundred years ago, someone decided we should set aside one day and thank those who defend and protect our way of life, Veterans Day. Make no mistake, Veterans Day is not an occasion to glorify or celebrate war, but to show respect for those who have made sacrifices for our freedoms. You are the next generation, and I'm counting on you to keep Veterans Day alive and well in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Whalen, not only for those important words, but for your service to our country. Please enjoy our fifth grade course. We'll be singing another patriotic song, Those Who Served.
Hi Hopkins, how are you? Good. Good. I want to say thank you to the fifth graders also. That was outstanding, especially if it was in only a week. That's impressive. I'm really glad to have the opportunity to be here with you today, the day before Veterans Day, to talk a little bit about Veterans Day and what it means to all of us. And tomorrow, we're going to have a whole day to make sure to say thank you to a veteran. Now, how many here know a veteran? Wow. So it is gonna be really easy for you tomorrow to make sure to say thank you to that veteran, right? Yeah. My dad is a veteran, and he's, in, he's a veteran of the US Air Force. And I think if you asked him why he served in the military and why he is a veteran, I think he would tell you that it's because he loves his country and because he loves his kids and he loves the fact that we live in a democracy where we all have freedom. And I bet you've talked a lot about freedom as part of your school curriculum, and I think the fifth grade even talks about um, US government, which freedom is a big part of that. And if you think about what that means, and sometimes we live here in the United States, right? So we have freedom, we've had freedom for a long time. So sometimes we have to remind ourselves how important that is. If we look around the world, I don't know if anybody reads the paper. Does anybody read the paper? Sometimes. If you look about, look at what happens all over the world, we see things happening and you think, that could never happen here. Things like little kids or young, young people like you who don't go to school because they have to go to work or because they don't have school because nobody wants to pay for them to go to school. Or, depending on whatever your religion is, whatever your faith may be, you can't practice that faith, or you have to practice that faith in secret instead of going to church or synagogue or wherever you celebrate now. And that's because those countries and those other people don't have the freedom that we do. But we don't think about that too much. And so today and tomorrow, when we have the day off of school, and it's pretty important, we know how important it is because we don't have school tomorrow which kind of says a lot, right, when you don't have school, it's pretty important. So we can take that time to remember those freedoms and then think about all of those people who make sure that you have those freedoms, and those are our veterans. And if you have something very, very special, like if you have something that's very special to you, you want to make sure to protect it, right? If you have a special toy or maybe something that somebody, a family member gave you that you want to make sure nothing happens to it, you make sure it's very well protected. Well, that's what our veterans do for our freedom and for our democracy. There are people who, who think it's so important to have freedom that they're willing to serve in the military and say, if somebody tries to take that freedom away from my family, from the community of Hopkinton, for all the young people in the world, I am gonna make sure that never happens. And I am willing to even give my life to be able to do that. That's how important freedom is to me. And that's how important your freedom is to every veteran who's agreed to serve in the US military. So for us to make sure to say thank you to our veterans, they don't ask for a whole lot actually. And, and if you talk to a veteran, sometimes they're kind of humble, all the time they're kind of humble actually. And so we have to make sure that we recognize the sacrifices that they make and that their families make when they go to serve for us, wherever it may be, here in the United States, or sometimes they have to go to go overseas. We have a lot of veteran, or, um, US military serving overseas right now, protecting our freedoms. So I want to make sure that we remember tomorrow to say thank you to that veteran. And could I ask all the veterans here today to, have, to raise their hands? so that we know who they are. Okay, looks like we've got three, three, three hands going up today. Can we take a minute, we're gonna practice saying thank you. Can we say thank you to our veterans here today? Thank, thank you. you. That was excellent. So now you are all ready to say your thank yous for tomorrow. So thanks for coming out today. It's great to be part of this ceremony and I just wanna also congratulate our two, uh, our two uh, MCs here today for doing such a great job as well. So thanks everybody. Thank you, Representative Dykema. Next, we'd like everyone to 
understand while Mrs. McDowell plays trap taps as a tribute to the veterans that are no longer with us. Thank you. 